Donald Trump isn't backing down. In a statement released Sunday, he defended his executive order, stating his policy is similar to what President Obama did in 2011, when he banned visas for refugees from Iraq for six months. The seven countries named in the executive order are the same countries previously identified by the Obama administration as sources of terror. To be clear, this is not a Muslim ban, as the media is falsely reporting. And the president's chief of staff made clear, despite protests at U.S. airports, he feels there's no reason to apologize. You know, so it wasn't chaos. I mean, the fact that the matter is 325,000 people from foreign countries came into the United States yesterday and 109 people were detained for further questioning. The White House is also defending its decision to include in the order legal permanent residents or green card holders, arguing travelers can apply for a waiver. Obviously, this process and these conclusions were not vetted. What about the Iraqi pilots that are training right now in Tucson, Arizona, learning to fly the F-16, and there will be more coming in? This immigration lawyer agrees. But we hear constantly changing information from the White House. It's clear that uh, a few individuals wrote up this document for the executive order, but it wasn't really passed clearly through all the channels within the agencies. And so things have constantly been changing. And legal challenges are mounting. In Virginia, lawyers are seeking guarantees from the court they'll be permitted access to those detained at U.S. points of entry, something the top Republican in the U.S. Senate supports. It's going to ultimately decide in the courts as to whether or not this has gone too far. This Democratic senator says that's already happened. And the widespread anti-Muslim rhetoric will fuel backlash against Americans overseas. These orders go against what America has always been about. The orders make us less humanitarian, less safe, less American. Trump disagrees. On social media Sunday, he defended his actions, writing, our country needs strong borders and extreme vetting. But attorney generals from 16 U.S. states are condemning Trump's order. In a statement, they're promising to make sure as few people as possible suffer from what they call a chaotic situation they say was created by Donald Trump's order. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.